Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. You're with me Arun Sharma on the Mindworks channel and today we are going to do, uh, in this video we are going to do quants, must know question in quants number 30. Uh, this is 50 must know questions uh, part of that series and I hope you've seen the previous 29 questions. And interesting question today, uh, kind of question that has been often uh, asked in, in CAT and all of the aptitude exams. And a very simple switch inside this question is based on a question based on ratios. It's based on the ratios chapters and uh, this is also from uh, my upcoming uh, edition of my cons book, the new edition of my cons book. So you can have a look at this question. A stall sells popcorn and chips in brackets of three sizes, large, super and jumbo. <coughs> large, super and jumbo. And, and one of the things that I always talk, talk, talk about, if you want to improve the quality of your solving and your quality of your uh, uh, competitiveness in quants in, in, in the exam, specifically with respect to speed, on questions that, that uh, anybody with a little bit of practice and, and uh, preparation will be able to solve. So it's, it's very important that you can solve the question in the first reading. You should not go into the second reading and third reading while, while solving the questions. So doubtless, reduce your speed a little bit, reduce your speed of reading a little bit, so that you can eliminate the need for the second reading during your uh, solving. And it can happen, you can do it in around 80% of the questions in all aptitude exams if you, if you work that way. If you're preparing for CUT, IP mat, or even CSAT, UPSC, CSAT, or any other, other exams, 95-98% questions you can do what I'm showing here. In, in exams like CAT and ZAT, which are the tougher uh, aptitude tests, in those exams, you'll see that maybe it's around 80% of the questions where you can apply this solving during first reading process that I'm showing here. So anyway, coming back to this question, a stall sells popcorn and chips in packets of three sizes, large, super, and jumbo. The number of large, super, and jumbo packets in the stock are in the ratio. Uh, the number of uh, large super and jumbo packets in the stock are in the ratio 7 is to 17 is to 16 for popcorn. So let's take that information in popcorn. For popcorn, 7 is to 17 is to 16 is the large to super to jumbo size packets. 7 is to 17 is to 16. I hope I got the ratio right. Yeah. And 6 is to 15 is to 14 for chips. So for chips, for chips, the large super and jumbo numbers are in the ratio 6 is to 15 is to 14. Now we know, mathematically, we know that every ratio has a kind of a multiplier. So if I'm thinking about how many popcorn packets they have, even without reading further, I can, I can think of this that the popcorn packets would be 7x, 17x and 16y, 16x respectively, uh, given that the ratio is 7 is to 17 is to 16. And the chips packets, if I use a multiplier of y on this variable wise, the chips packet of large, super and jumbo would be 6y, 15y, and 14Y respectively. These would be the chips packets, this would be the pack popcorn packets. So when I come back to the question uh, and uh, I look at what it further says, the question says if the total number of popcorn packets, if the total number of popcorn packets is the same as that of the chips packets, the total number, now this is a quantity measurement or this is a standard language in, in uh, maths where you are saying something is the same as something else. So there will be a number in the left side, there will be a number on the right. And the question says total number of popcorn packets in stock is the same as that of chips packets. So total number of popcorn packets according to this is 40x is the same as total number of chips packets which is 35y. So the number of popcorn packets 40x is the same as the number of uh, chips packets 40x is equal to 35y and that will give you a ratio of y by x as 8 by 7 because if you uh, take x on, uh, below on that side and take 35 on this side you will get 40 upon 35 as y by x. So you get the ratio y by x as 8 is to 7. That means if y is, y is 8, x is 7. So the question being asked now, the question being asked now is 
the number of jumbo popcorn packets and jumbo chips packets are in the ratio so they are asking us the ratio of the number of jumbo popcorn packets remember large super jumbo the jumbo popcorn packets 16x and the jumbo chips packets 14y so we are looking for the ratio of this and since the ratio is 16x is to 14y and x uh, if i take x is 7 and y become in that case y becomes 8 so i'll get 112 here and with y is 8 this also becomes 112 and the ratio becomes 1 is to 1 so that's the answer to this question this question was uh, inspired by a very similar question in CAT 2018, if I'm not mistaken, uh, about uh, uh, two ratios and, and something of one ratio being equal to the other one. So you can see this is a, actually just a two-step question. You need to recognize three-step question, actually. You need to recognize these numbers in, in, this, in this variable. You need to recognize these numbers with these variables. And then you need to critically equate these two to get the ratio, and after that, uh, you just have to be able to read. So this, this question is what I call as completely driven. All the steps that you did was completely driven by what the question was directing you to do. You didn't have to do a single step on your own here. And that's one of the keys when you're try, trying to build your ability to solve a chapter. Ki, are you good at obeying instructions in the, in the topic? Have you, have you created uh, a, a mind that can take the instructions from the, from the language inside topics? So if you are weak at instructions or if you are weak at taking instructions then you will uh, uh, you will be weak always at maths so your first step of getting okay with maths is to take is to make sure that your weakness in instruction obeying in every chapter gets reduced and uh, this uh, endeavor on our side is to help you to improve your problem solving abilities in mathematics questions and we'll continue with this series please do like share subscribe and uh, do comment and i'll i'll Come back to you with the next one. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.